We will grab those water as our sample. A single drop of water. That's all we need to test for the presence of microplastics. We found that in a tiny droplet of water, and we detect about hundreds millions levels of the plastic particles. To reach those levels, what was pure water only had to sit in a plastic container for a few minutes. When I first uh, see the result, I was shocked. Those numbers come from a new testing method developed by researchers at UBC. We can create a portable device that can be more affordable, more accessible, and it can be used by the general public. Designed to keep testing prices low, the device is 3D printed using biodegradable materials, and an LED flashlight and wireless microscope are mounted on top. The sample, which is prepared in a matter of minutes by adding fluorescent labels that bind to plastic particles, is inserted. Then the microscope transmits photos of the sample to a cell phone, which runs an algorithm to determine how many plastic particles are present. For each test, it's just a cost of 1.5 cents. Experts say that pricing would be a huge draw and that this kind of innovation has been sorely needed. Traditional microplastics research can be incredibly resource intensive. I have seen uh, costs on the scale of $1,000 for the processing of a single sample. The demand for this kind of testing has been rising in recent years as we learn more about the impacts microplastics can have. Unfortunately, more than half the plastics produced include compounds that are known to be hazardous to environmental and human health. Some direct health impacts have already been established, including endocrine disruption. But research has been hampered by various hurdles, access to testing being one of the big ones. Those data are, are much needed and they're critical as the scientific community embarks down the road to determining actual human health risks of microplastic ingestion. This work is especially important in today's world, since microplastics can be found virtually everywhere, from mountain glaciers to Canada's most remote lakes, and even in your morning coffee. You know, even in the coffee cups, in the Tim Hortons or Starbucks, mm. there is also a thin layer of plastics. Future iterations of the testing kit might be able to identify different types of plastic in the same sample, or be used to test much more complex samples out in the field, allowing scientists to measure microplastic levels in lakes and oceans. It's a device that could very well change our understanding of what's in our water and what's in our bodies. Darius Madavi, CBC News, Vancouver.